mark the seven game on beating run comes to an end. Incredible performance tonight. What's your thoughts on the whole? Um, I'm, I'm really frustrated. It's probably the most frustrated I've felt in a while, probably because we haven't had this feeling. Um, we've been on a good run, um, but with that run we've set um, a certain standard. And I don't think we quite reached that today. And uh, I'm bitterly disappointed. I just felt that we didn't uh, we didn't execute well enough. And I think first half at Woking, I thought we were a little bit uh, blind to what we wanted to do. And um, today I felt we slept, walked through the game a little bit in, a, in our processes and, and certain few things that we worked on, we didn't, we didn't execute anywhere near uh, well enough. Having said that, there wasn't loads in the game. And I think it's important that, you know, straight after the game, you're quite emotional and frustrated. And that's because of the standards that that group is setting there. They've been working really hard. The attitude, the endeavour, the work rate is always there. It's a, it's a, it's a great group. Um, just probably a little bit mentally tired today and probably didn't uh, take take on board or have the awareness that, um, just to see the spaces and and, uh, and sometimes technically we let ourselves down today a little bit as well. But um, I think it just shows where the group is. We're all hurting, we're all frustrated uh, because we've set a, a, a good standard here and um, it hurts when you don't when you don't get to that high standard that you set yourselves. I think that'd be a fair reflection, wouldn't it? So, you know, come to Dagenham, top side of this league, then they haven't really, you know, putting a massive great performance against us have been quite an even affair with not many chances. No, definitely. And I think that makes it harder as well because I thought their goal was avoidable. Again, we have a way of dealing with situations like that. We didn't quite get into the right right positions. And, you know, maybe, maybe people will look at me like there's a few changes today and um, sometimes you don't get that continuity. And, it, and it's, it's small details on, on the way we lock out, the way we move, the way we shuffle as a unit. Um, and we probably w wasn't as fluid as, uh, as we have been lately. Um, but it was important that we, we've got to protect players. We haven't got players who are ready to do this amount of games in this short space of time because we've had so many players injured. We're just getting some back. So um, this, this club is a club of opportunity. Um, you know, we give young players a chance. Um, they've, they've all earned their chance. Um, and again, it's a great experience for them today. Um, you learn more when you lose. And um, some young players out there have had a, a, a good experience at a really tough place to come. And they, we've just come up agonisingly short. Um, but again, some, some good lessons to learn. Um, we will, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that one on the chin. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Um, but you know, we, we, we want we don't want we, we want them to feel that hurt after the game. But also, we will we'll, we'll we'll learn the lessons and we'll we'll move on quickly. Like you mentioned, seven changes from the side that beat or oh, drew against Woking. Obviously, Corey and Giles miss out from the side. Is that just fatigue and rest for them? Yeah, Giles his first first game back. You know, he's been out you know a couple of months, and um, he done well to get through 90 minutes. 40 hours later would be way way too early for him. Um, even to come off the bench would probably be a red flag for him without a proper warm up and coming into the pace of a game. So we've had to wrap him up. Corey Andrews has done a lot of football. Um, you know, as that lone striker by himself, he puts in a lot of work. And uh, again, 48 hours, we need to keep the energy high. Mikel's um, played a big part this season as well. Um, it's important that we keep everyone topped up and ready for when they're, when they're needed. And, um, you know, at the moment, we've got a squad getting fitter, stronger and healthier as we go along. We've got some, you know, big players to come back as well. And, um, you know, it should hopefully create a lot more competition for places. You mentioned the standards and I heard you talking to Rob about it being an opportunity for these players to come in. Do you feel it might be an almost a missed opportunity for some, maybe? I think it feels like a missed opportunity when, when, when you lose the game. But there's, there's, there's plenty of learning. Uh, very, a lot of them are very early on in their career. And this is a great learning experience for them and they'll be a lot stronger for it. So, um, yeah, missed opportunity to put points on the board, but certainly not a missed opportunity for players. Uh, you know, some of them will be stronger for this experience, but it was... Uh, I said we weren't we weren't a million miles away. It was a, it's fine lines football, and I just felt we were just slightly off off today. I felt our, our awareness and our execution and our game plan was 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 um, sadly missing today. And that was my next point. Obviously, it was a young squad that played today. It's a young squad in general, so it's a learning opportunity for them, nonetheless. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it's it's difficult when, when you've just lost. It's very it's very raw, but believe me, you learn a lot more in your hardships and uh, and your tough times. And uh, losing teaches you a lot more than winning. I know that from my own experience. And uh, we'll, we'll be we're always brutal on ourselves. We're always going to be tough on ourselves. And uh, yeah, just disappointing. We had a great travelling support again here today. We've been on a good run, and uh, we're not we haven't, we're not used to losing now. And um, that's a good feeling and I, I want us to be tough on ourselves I want it to hurt um, but it's important that we have that that character now and now now it's all about the reaction um, and uh, a little bit more refinement um, and getting back on the training ground and uh, get better
Of course, Oli Ellis was brought back from Farnborough as well today, a chance for him to show what he can do. Yeah, definitely. Look, he's been out on, on, on loan at Farnborough. Ellis is a player with huge talent, huge potential. Um, he's, again, got to learn the role and responsibility in the team and what that brings because, um, you know, you work out of possession is just as good as in possession. But he's certainly got, uh, you know, he's got a, a rare talent and he's got great quality, great technique. And, um, again, that'll be a good learning curve for him, his first start in the in the conference. I've heard, um, so... Again, he'll be he'll be stronger for that. You mentioned obviously the fans today, great support from them. Almost 300 of them, and you know we could hear them all game. Yeah, we, we could, and uh, that's why we were, you know we've been on a good run. And, and I said to the lads that you know the fans are turning out now because uh, you give them something to believe in. You're fighting, you're working hard, and they're responding to that. And uh, we don't want to lose that enthusiasm and that energy from our crowd. And we've got to keep feeding them. We've got to keep giving them. Um, and that's why I felt we probably didn't quite give them enough today. And uh, you know we'll be looking hard to make up for that um, in our next game. That's a point, wasn't it? You know because the standard you've set so high now with the unbeaten run it's disappointing to come to Dagenham and lose as we have yeah yeah definitely look any loss any loss hurts and uh, like I said I think it's credit to the group of how they've rallied and the standards that they've set in there they they, they know we've probably come up a little bit short uh, at times today but but again we're still structured we're organized we're hard to beat um, there was very few chances in it you know we've we probably had just as many as them, um, but you know they, they they took their all important one when um, when we didn't quite um, lock out our you know that attack well enough. Obviously, a great chance for us to bounce back from this with the away game against Woking. Yeah, I think we can. Uh, you know, it's a good game for us to to bounce back in. That is for sure. Are you in the shop? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.